A multimeter measures DC resistance, but a vector network analyzer, or VNA, measures the impedance of an RF or microwave circuit at its operating frequency. It measures both the resistance and the phase, making up a vector response of the circuit. A VNA can also measure the gain or loss between two ports of a circuit in magnitude and phase. So, RF VNAs measure the vector response of networks so that the signal performance characteristics of RF products and other devices can be optimized. An RF system works best when its components are impedance matched to each other, with the output impedance matching the input impedance of the next component. A VNA is helpful for determining reflection parameters and for impedance matching of components like antennas. Antennas can have a wide range of impedances and they need to be matched to the devices that they are connected to. Measurement setups contain connectors and cabling that can introduce subtle errors in measurements. So, even though pre-calibration takes a few minutes before taking readings, it is essential to calibrate these errors out of your readings, unless you want bad measurements. So, make sure you order a calibration kit with your VNA. Here are some of our VNA offerings for your RF needs. Maybe you'll find a match for your RF needs without too much impedance from your manager. First, we have the Pico VNA 106, we also offer the Siglent SVA 1075. The Magic VNA 044E rounds out our VNA offerings. By the way, do you know the difference between a vector network analyzer and a spectrum analyzer or oscilloscope? Do you know how a VNA works? How about S parameters, Smith charts, and Bode plots? These and more questions are answered in our newsletter.